aspect of what I like to bring to the democratic education community in particular is to emphasize that there is an importance to the social structure that is provided. Is some people think of democratic schools as unstructured, and that's, in, to me, incorrect. They are structured. They're very strongly socially structured. Right. Because you have to have that protection of the community itself. Yes. No system can survive if it does not have a boundary of what it is. Definitely, definitely, definitely. I think it's a very, very important aspect. If a community is thriving for decades, there are certain boundaries that are set. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And it cannot go beyond those boundaries. Right. Whether in terms of in terms of conflicts or in terms of support, in terms of all that. Mm -hmm. And we also have that system, but that system, of course, may not be clearly, you know, we right. may not be able to clearly define it, yeah. but it is there in place right. Right. where and everyone feels that they are protected and they feel secure being in a community, okay. being part of it. Otherwise, if a student, if a child feels, oh my God, where to go, what to do, who, who should I approach? Uh, if a child is not able to create that support system, is not able to figure out that support system, child will find it very, very difficult. And that's one of the challenging things for us also. For example, a new child comes and they are without parents here. Right. Some child may not have parents. Some child comes here and parents, they leave. So immediately child has to figure out in some ways, that's, that itself is a system, you see. That's that right. itself is a system. Yeah. Child has to figure out, okay, if I have this problem, I have to go to this person or I have to go to this, this group. Mm -hmm. If I have such problem, I feel secure here. And then a uh, child slowly, you know, within few weeks, child is able to understand the dynamics of the whole community. Right. And he knows where one has to go when there is a problem. If this does not work, the child figures out, mm -hmm. okay, this is where I should go. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And nobody tells him that if this one doesn't work, you go there. But there is something like that, you see. Yeah, right. Right. This, this is like the, uh, the understanding itself is like that. Okay, child figures that out. Child is very, very, children are generally very clever yes. in that <laughs> sense. They figure out where to go if certain things are not resolved. This is the Agentic Schools Podcast, where you will learn about schools from around the world where children's agency to make decisions about their learning and living is more important than their academic skills. I'm your host, Don Berg.